Blah. All right, welcome back, everybody. Gonna be doing this. So So yeah, um, welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Mothfuck Project. Um, today we're going to be doing the same thing as we did before. We're going to make sure that the last part of the wings is, uh, well, the second color is done. And then hopefully then that will fix a lot of stuff. So, well, at least that's going to be fixing a lot of stuff, I hope. Anyway, um, allow me to get started. And uh, there you go. Let's go. Let's get on with it, shall we? So today we're gonna be working on this, and uh, hopefully, yeah, out of the way, chair, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's do this. So, dip. um, come on. There you go. Easy. So today we're going to be working on the second color again, so that means that we need to figure out which ones did already do are already done and which ones are not. And that's, that's actually not that, that hard to do. If I just zoom in a little bit, I can see it better. There you go. So, so far this one did it, this one did it, and so we're now on this one. Alright, cool. That's some uh, nice little traveling business. Yep. That's exactly how much we want. No problem. Alright, let's continue then. So the idea of these, you know, colors is all the same. It's all the same always. Because if you see... The, yeah, there you go. So yeah, let's let's try let's find out how much we do. So um, the idea of these colors, uh, I don't know. I just try to get the color pattern pattern all, all, all there. The main problem I always face with these things is like they're sometimes very difficult to mesh, especially because of the uh, wings themselves. But the good news is we uh, do have some, you know, backline. Yeah, uh, it's called cool backline. We we do have a way of dealing with this. So yeah, um, so far I'm actually doing quite well, and uh, hopefully that will stay that way. And uh, let's hopefully this will work. So today, uh, today I actually finished uh, a series again because I wanted to watch a series and I want to know how it ended and how it all started. So I had to watch them. Apparently, I have watched the ending of the whole damn series, not the beginning. So assume I as uh, there. I assume that the ending. Is different, different than the beginning, and apparently, you know, they're all connected, which is quite nice. So I'm very happy upon that, and uh, realizing how uh, how it all was. So yeah, uh, let's see. How far I'm gonna be going here is gonna be probably not a lot, but I'm a little bit tired today. Watching le watch watching a series of all the this straight through through the day, you know, it it makes you a little bit exhausted, but eh, nothing I cannot handle. So yeah. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far, uh, because I do, and hopefully this will not be, uh, hopefully this will be the good start of a good beginning. There you go. 
go. Hmm. It's quite funny how much I'm already doing here and then how much is already showed or how much is already showing me. Like you know, you, you see the feathers already appearing. The more I color in. Oh hey Becca. Nice to see you. So yeah, um So yeah, the the main idea here is that I'm trying to do this my way and uh, hopefully it will work. Hmm. The main problem I am all, I am always facing is like who how much time do I need to take care of, you know, getting these calls done? And you realize like, oh yeah, you actually need to have these calls done, but you also need to make sure that all the calls are sane looking. So yeah, consistency is indeed uh, is indeed a thing that you need to have. Also what I realized also what I realized when I watched the series, I was actually very curious of how they use the color colorations in the combat fights. And apparently in the uh in the animation style they did it. A lot of the com a lot of the combats are actually less uh less detailed and less closed up to the faces and the blades. So if a character fights another person and then you know get and the gap is away from each other and they strike each other then and it is fast paced and the quality of the uh drawing is also decreased so that you know you only see like the base uh posture of them which was quite a little bit odd at the beginning but then afterwards i saw like oh all right so that's how you do it the uh, it creates a little bit of motion i believe which creates a good feel also i now finally know the uh, whole damn thing the whole damn plot of uh Apparently, one of the main characters that was in the uh, in the first in the first episode, in the f in the part that was actually the beginning of the mid section. So I believe it's the mid section. I don't know if it is the mid section, but there is this guy. There is this. Uh, there, there is first. There is a. Um, I I watched first the ending. So the beginning of the ending, there was this guy who was obsessed by a lady that he worshipped like a goddess, and that that goddess is then actually uh, that goddess uh, storyline is actually foretold in the other in the other series that I have been also watching, which is the same series but you know different different characters that have been follow uh, that you follow around, which which is quite interesting. It's like oh my god, that that guy is really obsessed, and then you realize like ah, so that's why he's so that's why he's so obsessed. And yeah, it is quite creepy because uh, the the guy who was such an obsession actually committed a lot of murders, and that made him famous. Apparently, somehow, you know, committing a lot of murders makes you famous and a hero, even though you know Till doesn't tell you that. So yeah, it's quite funny that uh, the ja uh, the Japanese culture actually well that that this that the series I watched was actually d about that like. Oh boy, so this guy got summoned by a serial killer and is now the most grandest mage of everything and then, you know, ki uh, continues murdering. Ah, yeah. The great old story again. Because actually in the in the ending part, there is also a mage that wants to commit n a lot of murder because it, cre it it generates a lot of, uh, it creates a lot of energy for them to sustain themselves and cause high level magic. Apparently that's a thing. Anyway, and then with the for the lo the last one that I saw, like the one that was actually pre, I believe then that was a prequel that that was this uh, assassin who used her magic, oh well, used her daggers to, oh well, used her magic to absorb the hearts of mages. So, yeah, to be more powerful, which is quite funny to see that. Like, ah, all right, so every every type of character can actually do that. If they are, you know, well, you know, evil, which sometimes happens in these fights. It's like it's not good and evil. It's uh, more like 
the 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 more evil you are, the bet the more likely you're gonna win the the cup. Most most of the times, especially most of the times, because holy hell, there is a lot of corruption in that uh, in that series. It was awesome to watch. Like, oh yeah, this guy is this guy is evil. This guy is definitely evil. This guy has evil intentions, and some of them is like you know. Some intentions are evil. Some intentions are not. And then you, yeah, it has some good compa it has some good comparisons to evil and good, and what what good is and what evil is, and how evil can become good and how good can become evil, which is quite impressive, I must say. Taking notes, my pa uh, my pa my pathway to the, the fr uh, to the fame right there. <laughs> You know, yes, Baka. If you if you want to take notes, sure, take take notes of a madman. Just take the notes of a madman. That, that those work, definitely work. Not everything that I say works, but it's quite an intriguing intriguing story to follow. It's like, oh my god, this person just turned in. This person turned bad because of you know his greed or because he was he had a desire to do something. And then you realize, like, oh my god, he already has planned this from the beginning, and then it was a setup. And then in the in the first story, you actually see it from his point of view, his arc. And then you realize how fast he gets corrupted by the outsources that he has to deal with. Which is quite cool. And then, you know, you also have the evil, uh, the, good, the good characters in it, and then the bad characters in it. And there is not always a definite uh, winner. Because in the end, uh, I believe the uh, in the end the hero of the first well the mid the, the mid section of the series like not the ending ending part but the mid section the hero actually uh, doesn't complete his uh, does complete his wish but the wish the wish is twisted therefore it ruins a lot of life he didn't want that he actually wanted to save a lot of people. But you know the the wish got twisted, and therefore you know the wish actually killed a lot of people, and he had to deal with that. He had to deal with that. There is no way in his, no way in his kind of story that he would be able to forgive himself for all these deaths that he has occurred. That's why he raises a that's why he raises a lost child from the accident, and therefore you know the uh that th that person becomes then the second main main character in the second chapter and then you know that's even gonna be exploited more which is quite cool oh hey space junk yes all is evil evil <laughs> not me or you 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 are evil you are the one you are the one that ruined star wars you are the one i didn't ruin star wars you did <laughs> uh, but yeah it's quite insane that you know the aspect of good and evil is such a such a, it's such a lovely a lovely story to uh, realize or see because you know not not everybody can see themselves as good people and some people see other people as bad people and then therefore you know people get hatred but if you look at a bigger picture there is a lot of you know stuff that the the bad guys did and a lot of stuff that the good guys did and then you know you also realize like ah oh, man what did he do what did he do wrong and what did he do wrong and eventually you know in the last chapter actually the main character is like you know confronted with the fact that you know there is no way in the world that you can save everybody and then you know he gets contradicted and he gets uh really he gets really fucking uh hit in the face by that. It's like, ha, huh, you cannot re you cannot save all the people. Why would you do that? That is a stupid idea. And eventually, you know, he, he twists he thinks he twists his thinking and then, you know, it's like, you know what? I believe I cannot do that, but I can at least try. And that that's what counts. And then, you know, that that's how he becomes then also a hero on himself. And that makes it actually a quite good story, I believe. Well, at least it was a good story for me. It was a good old-fashioned mwah story, so yeah. 
course, this is really vague for you guys right now because, you know, I don't... Uh, it's like, ah, oh, yes, you have half information right here, and I'm talking about half information. That's that's great. That's uh, that's lovely. Maybe I should put more information to uh, to your to your faces. And I'm saying like, no, I will not tell more. You don't need to know more. It's it's all there. It's all there. It's all in the bucket already. So yeah. I'm very happy how far I already got, and uh, the stories uh, are great. <clears throat> I really like the storytelling part of it. Even though, you know, it's a little bit casually anime, but eh. Casual anime is still good anime, nonetheless. I watched Bleach, and I really liked Aizen. I really liked him. He was a good guy. Well, he wasn't a good guy, but yeah. He was a good bad guy. And uh, I do like to have a good. I do like to have, you know, instead of having always Mary Sue's, I like to have those people to have flaws. And uh, Eisen did not have any flaws as a bad guy, and he was pretty damn good at being the bad guy. And that's what I liked about him. He was like the main. He was not a. He was not an evil Sue, but he was pretty darn smart. He out. He did everything by not. Uh, how do you say that? He planned everything out, so therefore, you know, it's very hard to be able to not, you know, ah, how do you say this? If somebody is smart and uses his smartness to overcome a, a, a more powerful foe, then you could not say that this person is a Mary Sue because therefore, you know, it, he wins because he knew about the problem. How did he know about the problem? Because he already had planned that he already had he ha already had plans before that and the plan and the plans are now falling together that's why he's so strong and you know that that's that's what i like about it he was a competent villain he was a very competent villain and a very strong one indeed and at that but you know he was still a very bad guy he was a person that didn't give a shit about other people's life the only he think about the only thing he wanted was god a god power the only thing he wanted was to be God. And, uh, well, he got his wish. I'm happy for him. He did got his wish to become God. So, uh, yeah. He even, w he even was actually winning until the very end. So. A very good bad guy. But he miscalculated one single problem, and that problem he did not see. And, you know, that's the funny thing about it. If you see a problem and you cannot see the problem, then yeah, that's the problem. Love me some half information. Wrong. There is no good anime. What? How dare there is no good anime? Tell me why there is no good anime. I like, I like, I like, I like anime. All right, and I don't, mi I don't mind if it is trashy or not. All, even the even the worst type of an, even the most simple of anime is still good anime for me. It's like yeah, I like to wa I like to watch uh, I like to watch television. I like to watch cartoon series, and I don't mind watching good. To I don't much uh, mind watching anime as well because you know it's all the same. It's all the same me here for me in a bucket. It's like oh no, they're speaking Japanese. Oh no. It's like watching watching a uh, watching a uh, watching on Cartoon Network and don't understand English as well. That's what I felt like, you know. You watch an English cartoon series and you don't know what English is. You think it's a savage language about barbarian talk. So yeah, you don't know what they speak. They you don't know what they say, but you see the subtitles of Dutch. And that's how I and that's how I view most of the cartoons and animes. It's like, oh my god, this is lovely to look at, and I understand it now, and I can read it. That's good. Well, I cannot understand all of it, but I do understand now certain types of things. The language is quite easy to understand once you get the hang of it a little bit, but it's very hard to speak and read. So yeah. In all serious, I am a I am a giant F Mab fan, but weeps are funny when they get defensive. 
What is a F? What's an F map? What is that? Final. Hmm. Final. Master. Hmm. Something with an A. Hmm. Something with an A. Yes, definitely. Something with an A and an M and a D. I have no idea what it is. Sorry, Becca, I have no idea what the anime is. I am like, I'm a person who lives on a rock and watches anime whenever he ple whenever he pleases. And most of the anime is like, you know, oh, that's from way older than I supposed to be because apparently, you know, that's the series I heard about five years ago, and I'm now finally watching it. Ah, all right, fine, I'll give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> because holy hell I was actually very I was actually a uh, very long I I quit my pirate life for a very long time until you know corona strike it was like eh, I'll give I'll give the websites another try come on how bad can it how bad can it be to not give it another try it's it's not like it's going to be hurting me or anything they all can barely eat for himself nowadays yeah. so yeah <sighs> Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Full Metal. Al oh, damn it! You tricked me. You tricked me into saying it. Oh yes, I forgot. That's a that's an anime that exists. I forgot that that one exists that I have not seen yet. Damn it! No, I need to watch it now because I I know it exists. Ah. Ah. <sighs> now I need to watch it because I and because I know it exists. But yeah, I I was a pirate for a long time. I was a pirate for a long time. I actually pirated I pirated a lot of things back in the day when I was a kid around f uh, the age of 14, I believe, till 16, uh, nee, 12 to 16. And I did it a lot because, you know, I had no concept of how to get money or how to get a job. And uh, well, you know, then you want to have something, well, you got to better pay for it or better you know, not pay for it because you don't want to spend your tiny little pennies on something like, you know, a game. Ah! You want to spend it on some food or something or going out with your friends or, you know, buying a lolly out of a shop or some sweet candy. Yes, that's what you want to buy. That's what you want to have the money for. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of games and a lot of um, stuff that I... Uh, a lot of stuff that I had is all... You know, now, back in the, uh, it's, it's all like, you know, ah, oh, no, I used to be a pirate, how filthy of me, and it's like, yeah, definitely I used to be a pirate, and I'm like, I am pretty proud of it anyway. It's like, those days were the days that I learned how to use a PC, and those days were the best days, because then I was like, oh my god, I can do this, I feel like a true hacker man, yeah, so yeah. Even though, you know, the, the things were quite easy to do, the things were quite easy to process, and then, you know, still you realize, like, oh, yeah, you want that game? Well, allow me to just copy and paste this for you, and bloody bloody blue, look it up for you, and then get it get it all running. I even used piracy in my high in my high school, not in my high school, the other one, uh... The one that I actually went to college. Yes, I actually used col I actually used piracy in my college because somehow we had to pay for PowerPoint, uh, and then for Photoshop. And I was like, I ain't got no time for buying Photoshop. That's expensive. I don't want to buy buy it. So I was looking for Photoshop, and I was like, hmm, where could I find Photoshop? And eventually, I found something very funny. It was a it was a USB executable. Photoshop uh, pro, uh, was actually an executable Photoshop that you could run on the USB. So you just you just you know press you just uh, put your USB in the in your laptop and then boom you had Photoshop. Whether you whether you had it or not you had Photoshop now unless you know you pull pl uh, pull the plug, which was actually quite nice. It's like ah all right well don't mind me if I do don't mind if I take that that's free stuff. Nobody's gonna be asking me where I got my Photoshop, so uh, you know why not just do it anyway? 
and even the and even the teachers were like, you know, if you don't want to buy for it, you can just pirate it. It's like we're not gonna be, of course, promoting pirating, but it is an option. It's like you're not helping your state point here. <laughs> you don't watch it. It's fucking masterpiece. Characters, world building, and plot all magnificent. All right, fine. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. I'll do it back, and I'll do it. I'll do it. Watch me. I'll do it. I can even live stream it if I want to, because you know websites. Yeah, very easy to live stream on. Anyway, yeah, the even even the you know even the people that you know went to college they even promoted like yeah piracy is actually a thing that you need to do because otherwise you know you're gonna pay a lot of money, and nobody wants to pay a lot of money because it's already expensive to go to college, and that's most likely the whole sole reason why you know. The piracy was there because, you know, you ain't got no time to buy this, that, and douche and douche, and then pay tw two thousand euros or two thousand dollars shorter on cash. No, you don't want that. You don't wanna. You don't wanna do that. That's uh, horrible. And uh, yeah, I was. Uh, I was one of those people that had that mental mindset. It's like, oof, I don't wanna pay for this. This is expensive. And then eventually, you know, I got the vel and eventually I was like, ah, I should buy it. I like it so much, why should I not buy it? And then eventually I got everything that I want to buy. I did not spend that much money because I'm a very, very, very person that is greedy. So yeah, lots of the money that I did, uh, lots of the money I, uh, I paid, most games I paid were, you know, the games that were on Steam. For a long time I actually played free on Steam, so I played a lot of free games, and then eventually, you know, from time to time I got like, oh, I want to buy that game, I want to buy that game, and then eventually I had some good supply of games, which I really liked. I also like to go to rentals, and then, you know, buy there some games, and eventually I had my uh, whole uh, collection of games, and uh, that's where I stand now. I'm still really happy upon what I got, what I have, and how I do it. I'm very happy upon the result, how far I already am. Sometimes it's really hard to do uh, certain types of things, like uh, buying a game is something that I always uh, am like. I want to buy it only if I want to. If I want, I only buy it if I really want it. If I don't really want it, then yeah, it's not worth it for me because then I will play it like two days, and then it's gone again. So yeah. Also, um, I'm trying to do my very best upon getting better at the drawings. I hope, you know, today or tomorrow. Ah, my head. Um, tomorrow I will be trying to draw again on you know getting another call, uh, getting another drawing done. So I will be trying to get. Uh, the draw uh, try to start another part of the facial drawing. Not, not, not exactly the facial drawing, but I'm trying to get the, not, another emotion uh, in, in the drawing, and hopefully I will be able to get the hands correctly this time, which you know failed last time. So yeah, um, so yeah, that's uh, that's at least the things that I uh, want to do anyway. Anyway, um, I hope uh, you know my little mumbling on, talking and gibberish is a little bit uh, comfortable for you guys. Because holy hell, I am feeling so awkward right now, having those awkward silences every single time. Like ah yes, and I forgot what to say now. And uh, yeah, that's uh, it's like it's a thing that I need to work on. Definitely, it's a thing that I need to work on. Just you know, talking and then realizing what I just said. Because talking and thinking is a thing that you need to do in at the same time, but uh, I never learned that. But talking and thinking at the same time, how dare you? How dare you think when you talk? That's not allowed. Just just do things and talk, or talk and do things, not not think and talk. That's uh, that's that's a thing that you cannot do. All right. Anyway.
Well, let's take a look at this. Uh, doesn't need. Does it need more? Does it need more? More? Yes, it does. Uh, no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Depends. Situational. Hmm. Well, at least I can fix this part. So that's the thing that I need to do. So I will do that. No, I did not do this part. All right, fine. I'll fix it, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Why is it always that once once I realize like some part is missing and then the other part is like, oh yeah, you forgot this whole part here. It's like, huh. We knew that I forgot some parts here. We knew. There you go. All right. Um, I think I believe that's all. Right? Is that all? Is that all, folks? Probably. All right. Multitasking, what is that for kind of wizardry? Yeah, indeed, multitasking. How dare they exist? Ah, ah, ah. So, yeah, um, let's get a new, let, let's get a new layer down. So, yeah, um, I'm trying to get myself uh, some nice little tap pat on the back because we're now getting to the second part of it. And we're already 30 minutes in. God damn it. God neck damn it. Why is it always that that happened? Why is it always happening when I was like, ha, huh, I feel like such an accomplishment. Realizing how, 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 how fast we were already running out of time. It's like, hmm, hmm, hmm. That's a problem. <laughs> can I now draw over this? I can. Alright. Cool. Cool. Very cool. I need to actually have this on the, the different layer because now I can actually. Yes. Alright, cool. That's much better. Alright. Let's go for four. four. I believe this is the way, right? Yes, it's the way. But, oh no. It's the way, right? Yes, it is the way, but how did I do this one then? Ah, I used the wrong color, didn't I? I used the wrong brown. No, it's the same brown, but. Ah! Alright, this is frustrating. This is already getting on my nerves. Already. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. Alright. We want this color. We want this color to be over this so that we have full control over that and we can use this to get the guidance done.
This looks so strange. This looks really strange for me. It's like, ah! I believe we need to use a blender after this. Holy hell, we need to fuse the. Oh no, we need to fuse the bloody damn fucking. Don't tell me we need to fuse the bloody damn. Da! Uh... Ah! All right, cool, 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 cool. So I need to, I need to lock, I need to fuse all the three layers together and then get a whole damn result and then use the blending tool to blend the colors within each to intertwine them with each other otherwise it won't work mm. that's gonna be so hard to do and I'm not ready for it yet because holy hell I'll tell you this it's really hard to get a color the right color that you want it to be normally you know this should not be the case but these feathers are oh boy oh boy oh boy feathers. They are really 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 annoying to play around with. They don't have a will of their own. They are just so annoying sometimes because the amount of stuff I need to do. So time moves forward. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. I just I really noticed it. It was like eh. I don't want to have it already moved forward. I was not yet done. So yeah, um, this will hopefully be done correctly, I assume, I have no idea. But the good news is uh, we are going to have so much fun together, because I'm going to be trying to do this my way, and uh, hopefully this will uh, work. You know, this is one of the hardest things I need to do, and it's such a baloney party of doom. And I mean it not like that. See? I mean, it's really hard to see, but yeah. And I'm trying to do my very best to get all the colors in, in the correct way. I already know that the colors here are not representing the correct colors, but anyway. So yeah, anyway, um, good that everybody is back again in business. I do at least, uh, I'm busy doing the coloring and it's like, eh, hey, uh, yes, yes, I'm working here with hot lava right now. That's the, uh, that's the facial expression I have, like, are you shitting me right now? That's, yeah, this, uh, it's really hard for me to realize that I'm, like, working with this kind of, Problem. Uh. So yeah, um, also, um, quick note, um, I am not talking right now because of all of this. It's, it got me really off guard, like, ah. So, yeah, um. Very problematic. Normally, you know, this would not have been causing me that much trouble, but. Yeah, it does. 
does does give me troubles, and I need to make sure that I have everything under control. And uh, I am not under control. I am not in control of this situation at all. Which is the bo the problem part of it. It's like I want to know. Well, luckily this is not the hard part. But Ah, Hat, come on, stay with me, please. I beg of thee. Why is it always that I always have this problem with my head? Once I have, like, tried to do a full concentration upon the coloring or just, you know, looking at the pixels so that I can put some more pixels into it or color of the pixels into it, the, the, the whole damn thing is saying, like, no! You can't do that, that's illegal. You will not give this part, you will not give this. These things another look on the coloration, and I'm like, ah, but I need to. It's my destiny. Well, it's not my destiny, but you get the point. It's like that's how it feels like, at least. It's like I need to give it a little bit more clearing or coloring, and then sometimes it doesn't work because of the backfiring. Anyway, um, so let me just take a look at it. Oh my, 40 minutes already, and uh, this is so not fast space at all. And I'm just trying to put some more light dots in it. Eventually, it will look nice, but oof, holy hell, it's problematic. Wait, hold on. Can I do this? I can. That also will work. Huh. Oh, damn me. Damn me to hell. Ugh. Why does it have to be so difficult? Why in God's name have it be this difficult to get just decent wings done? Hold on. Mm. Damn it. Alright, so I have a problem. The problem is these wings don't look as the wings down below. Which should also explain my problem because they don't look the same. The color variations is the same but the, the design of the wings is different. Therefore it won't work. Mm. And since it doesn't work, the pattern is different. Should I accept this? That's the big question right now. Should I accept it and work around with it? Mm. Let's see. Because it doesn't look the same, allow me to just pick up the rest of the damn fucking wings and then get everything back into business. Alright, hold on. We have these wings right here. Yes, correct. Alright, cool. Do we have these wings more? Yes. Alright, cool. Are these wings different than these ones? Yes, they are. So since I do have the wings, since I do have that wing multiple times implemented into my drawing, I should just roll with it and then get the pattern different. I need to have a different pattern in my wings. I need to have a different. I need to put. I need to work in on the on the. I need to work on the. On the main chassis before I will be continuing with the wings, otherwise I will not never get the correct response in the tail. So I need to work from the tail towards the top and then towards the wings. Otherwise, I will not be able to repeat or look and able to judge if the patterns are correct. Well, then the drawing or the the f the feather the look on the feathers will work well. Mm. 
So, next time we will be working on the tail instead of the wings because otherwise I won't be able to figure out what the wings are going to be and we're going to be in the same question, in the same problematical thing here. I am still going to be saying that we're still going to be still we're still going to keep this. We're going to keep it like this because otherwise, you know, we can always go back because they're just on different layers, which is good. But I need to work on the tail part. All right. Well, looking at that, that's how you do a self-reflect on looking for a pro or looking for the problem fixing part. So we having the problem fixing part. All right, good. So what do we need? We need the wings. Check. We need the tail. Where's the tail? Where's the tail? Where's the tail? Where's the bloody damn tail? Tails. Tails. Wing. There you go. Wing. Till. Till texture? Yes. That's one. No. No. Let's see if I can find more. Crystals. Texture. Yeah. Yeah. And here you go. Easy. There. There. And, uh, and we're almost there. Boom, shakalam, boom, 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 padoom. Where's the tilt pot then? Hmm. No. 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 Alright. Tilt pot? No. Oh, there it is. So since that we do have these feathers again, I would recommend using the feathers again on this side. Create the same um, uh, create the same symphony in the in the front in the same colors here, and then work onwards to this part, and then slowly work upwards towards this part over here. Therefore, once we're done with that part, we can then just you know f uh, make the full body done. And then we can decide. Then we can decide way better how we're gonna implement the color on the wings. Yes, yes, that's a thing that I can do. Will I do it? Yes, I will do it because it's way better. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, hubby doobity dabity doo. Problem solving, yeah, indeed. Problem solving or bidi bidi bup. All right, um. Yeah, sorry about this. Uh, it's a tactical difficulty because it's a very tactical one. This time I had to decide how to do, how to get this fixed, how to get this this kind of you know coloration uh, coloration into the wings. So far it looks good, it looks decent. So I'll I'll keep it that. I'll I'll try to keep it like this. I'll try to keep it. I'll try to make sure that I ha uh, keep the coloration like this on the wing part. Hopefully it won't, you know, backfire, but I don't think so. But in any case, we're gonna be working on the tail, tail, uh, on the on the law on the second wing here. We're gonna be working on that. So that's what we're gonna be working on next time, and that's gonna be the tilt extra two, right? That's this one, right? Yes, that's this one. So, all right. So that's the one. And that's the one that we need. So till texture one is then done. So if we get this one out of the way, we can see now where the thing is. All right. So that's the one we're going to be using. We're going to be using these three colors to represent all the things that we need. Those are the three colors that we only need. So that's all the three colors that we're going to get. All right. So we're going to make that happening and then we're gonna be uh, once that is done we can then continue working on the tail part all right cool cool and that's it for today all right um I hope you'll have enjoyed um of course it's uh, not it's not uh, it's not what I used to do today because 
I would I would have loved to work c continue working on the wings, but apparently I don't I I I cannot afford myself to do that because otherwise uh, things will look aw uh, awkward for my part in the coloring sections, and then you know everything is gonna go hogwash in my parts. Well, it will be all twisted into a tornado bottle and then you know shaked up and then released. So yeah, it, it it won't look pretty if I if I now you know not gonna be working like that. So yeah, um, tomorrow we're gonna be working on the uh, on the bo on the bottom uh, on the bottom side of the of the tail again. We're gonna be working on the second part of the second wing part, so the second wing tail, and uh, hopefully that's gonna be turning out way better than the well wing part. Uh, hopefully that will turn out good, and then uh, then we can finally continue on the tail part itself. So yeah, um, have a nice day. Have a nice day all and uh, thanks all for watching and uh, I'll, I'll hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye!